the Pharisees came and began to question Jesus. To test him, they asked him for a sign from heaven. He sighed deeply and said, Why does this generation ask for a sign? Truly I tell you, no sign will be given to it. Then he left them, got back into the boat, and crossed to the other side. In the eighth chapter of the Gospel according to St. Mark, we encounter an intriguing scene. The Pharisees, those eternal skeptics, demanded a sign from heaven from Jesus, attempting to test him. But Jesus responds briefly, a sign, a miracle. Remember this, no miracle will convince people with hearts like yours. And leaving them in astonishment and disbelief, he walks away. What a scene. Imagine Jesus, instead of engaging in a fruitless discussion, simply turns on his heel. In today's world, we might compare this to someone who, during an endless debate at a fair, full of jostling and bantering, simply stands up and goes for a piece of cheesecake and discreetly disappears, refusing to be drawn into further pointless argumentation. What can we learn from this story for ourselves? Above all, that Lord Jesus does not let himself be dragged into quarrels that lead nowhere. Sometimes the best response is no response at all, or at least to counter with an argument that our opponents do not expect at that moment. And what next? Next, simply to continue our path. Now, Let's make a small leap to the Old Testament, to the 26th chapter of the book of Proverbs, where we read, Do not answer a fool according to his folly, or you yourself will be just like him. What a valuable summary. Both the proverb and Jesus' stance teach us that not all battles are worth fighting, especially those futile clashes of words. Today, everyone has access to a public discussion forum without leaving home. It's easy to get sucked into endless debates. However, sometimes it might be worth asking ourselves, does this discussion really lead to anything constructive? Or is it better to just stand up from the computer or turn away from the television and simply go for a walk? Jesus teaches us to choose our battles wisely. Not every discussion is worth our time and energy. Some of them are just attempts to test us, and our response will not bring any change or understanding. In these moments, perhaps the best course of action is simply to shake off the dust from our brains and move on. Let this lesson from the Gospel of Mark be a reminder to us that wisdom does not always lie in speaking, but sometimes in silence. And remember, a good cookie or the reward of peace always awaits those who can refuse to participate in the fairs at the vanity marketplace. <laughs>